we went to Susoa, um, Dominican Republic, and we took seven um, track athletes and then three volleyball players. Susoa is almost kind of like Houston, where we, and then we had eight, 18 different sites where um, all of us were actually kind of split up on some of them. And um, you would arrive at a site, typically a baseball field, and there'll be hundreds of kids. Some wanted to do volleyball, some wanted to do baseball, some did basketball. And um, so you just taught them how to do basic things. I was actually able to work with um, the basketball part of the camp. So I would go for the first four days we were there and just uh, teach these little boys basically the fundamentals of basketball and teach them new drills and help their coaches run these drills and just make them better athletes and understand the game more. A lot of the girls that we played volleyball there with um, didn't even have like proper shoes. They were wearing like flip flops and playing on hard cement and barefooted and stuff so it's really hot and just makes you realize like stop complaining about the shoes that we had kind of thing and so um, just not to take advantage of little things like that because in a third world country you realize like how big those things are. Well I thought it would be awesome for our kids to experience something um, that they've never experienced before and to really get a fresh perspective on, on all the things that they get to experience at U of H because um, sometimes they just get bogged down the things that they don't have and bring them into an environment when they see, oh wow, we actually have a ton. And, and I really thought that it would produce a reality check and a new perspective on, on the things they have. I think all of them got something different. We had like our own U of H story time one night and it was from just being grateful for the different things that um, they have. And I know some of the track, track kids talked about how they used to always complain about their um, different facilities they had and it was just a huge reality check um, when they saw that these kids were using two sticks and a bandana for a hurdle and that's how what they were learning how to do hurdles. The thing I took away from the trip the most was to be grateful and appreciative for everything that you have in life. Even if you don't think as much and you compare yourself to someone else that's in your same shoes is better than what someone else has in another country or even like right around the corner. So I know the volleyball girls, they um, and they had girls all around them. Like just, I mean, Sarah, she had, she was like the little baby magnet. Like she would always have a little girl holding her hand, and I think they just really enjoyed um, experiencing um, just the love from the Dominicans. I would love to go back to the Dominican. Just the people that I met, the relationships that I've made, like. It was amazing and um, they're just really on fire for God down there and it's just, it's really inspiring and it's something you want to be a part of and um, yeah, I would totally go back and just do other mission trips in general. It's just a really awesome and humbling experience. I think it definitely fits building champions for life because you just, you get to step outside of yourself and you get to serve and you get to see people who live completely different than you. And so sometimes we get this tunnel vision of, like, like I said, from morning workouts to practice is just, and it's, you, you become so self-absorbed. I think part of being a champion is actually seeing other people, serving other people, and really um, helping the needs of other people.